Hello, this is Tad Dows with Drones in School, here today to talk to you about how to bind your Tiny Hawk 3 Plus HD0 to your controller. So we have here on the bench, we've got our aircraft and we have our controller. And you also see we have Betaflight up because we need Betaflight to make this work. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, plug in our drone to Betaflight. That should automatically connect. And we're going to go to the receiver tab. Okay, and right now, we'll go ahead and turn this on. And we'll see that we do not have any control. Nothing moves there when we have our aircraft and our controller on. So these two are not bound together. If they were, we would see some movement here on our throttle or our roll pitch. Y'all, one of these would be moving. We move these sticks. So it's not bound. That's our problem. So how to bind it? Well, it's not too difficult, actually, with the Express LRS receiver and controller that we have with this aircraft. So in Betaflight, you're going to go ahead and click on Bind Receiver. All right, that's going to put your aircraft in bind mode. On your controller, you're going to hold down the two inside trim buttons. You're going to turn, hold those down. It'll flash. You'll see your aircraft spin around for a little bit. Things will flash around for a couple seconds, and then boom, that's it. It's bound. So now when I move the stick, I now have my throttle, I have my yaw, I have my pitch, and I have my roll. So everything's all set. So it's really that easy. Anytime you need to bind it, you do have to have beta flight. But other than that, it's a very simple process, and you should be good to go. Now, just so you know, you can bind the same controller to multiple aircraft. So you could have one controller that controls a lot of different drones. In most cases for our teams, you probably don't want to do that. You want to have one drone bound to one controller. Now the last thing I'll mention in this video is really encourage you to do some labeling. So label your controller and then put a label or a, use a Sharpie or something to mark on your drone what aircraft that is. A lot of times it's really nice you can mark on the top of the camera housing right here. You can put a little sticker there, number one, put a little sticker here, number one, so you know that those two match. But now you know how to fix it if they don't. Hope that's helpful. Have a great day.